Hi, guys. Welcome to Universe View channel. Now, let's start Einstein's Relativity Odyssey 2. What does, constants of light velocity, mean? Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, based on a new physical concept called, field, in the late 18th century, has collided with classical physics. In other words, Maxwell's electromagnetic theory could not be explained by the existing Newtonian mechanics. At the time, as most physicists accepted Newtonian mechanics as the universal truth of the universe, they were very much was embarrassed. The core of what the physicists were confused was the velocity of the electromagnetic wave. Specifically, the constancy of light velocity. To be constant, means that no matter who sees it, in any frame, the velocity c of light is constant in the vacuum. This is the, the law of propagation of light, that elementary school students know today. It is often called, the law of constancy of light velocity. Perhaps the simplest law in physical books. But why, how did this get physicists in trouble and create a conflict with Newtonian mechanics? To find out why in the process, let's first look at what does, constancy of light velocity, mean. And see why it was a mystery from Newtonian mechanics. The, constancy of light velocity, was formalized by the Maxwell equation released in 1864. According to the Maxwell equation, the velocity of light is displayed as a constant, c. c means constant. The calculation was the velocity of light c equals 300,000 km per second, exactly 299,792,458 m per second. By the way, what is this velocity of reference frame? Maxwell equation does not present that reference frame. What does it mean to have a constant velocity without any reference frame? It is not unreasonable that the scrutinized physicists are absurd. Einstein is more deeply concerned about the reference frame than anyone else. Through the famous imagination that he had 16 years old, how would the light look like if I ran alongside the light? Einstein has seriously reflected on the meaning of not presenting the reference frame of light velocity in Maxwell's equation. Einstein also imagined that at first, he could catch up with the light if he ran quickly enough and when he ran side by side, the light would look like a wave picture. But after learning Maxwell's equations at Zurich Institute of Technology, Einstein changed his mind. This is because he haven't seen a unmoving light, electromagnetic wave, among the solutions of Maxwell equations. Einstein thinks that light is something special from this time. In particular, Einstein realizes that through the Maxwell equation, no reference frame of velocity means that light always has constant velocity, regardless of observer's condition. Einstein took a step closer to the mystery of velocity of light through imagination and Maxwell equations as a youth. According to classical physics, Newtonian physics, if we run quickly, we can catch up with any objects in this world. If you run at the same velocity as running trains, the train will seem to be stopped. Likewise, Einstein initially thought that when he saw light while running at the same velocity as light, the electromagnetic wave of light would appear to be completely stationary. In other words, to the person running side by side, the light will not vibrate like a wave photograph, but will look frozen. But in any science book, there was no such thing about the frozen wave of light. Why is it? It was Maxwell's equation that informed Einstein the answer. There was no frozen light among the solutions of the Maxwell equations. Surprisingly, Maxwell's equation told him that light always runs at a certain velocity, 300,000 km per second, regardless of what velocity we run. Einstein finally solved the topic of, how would the light look like if I ran alongside the light? If you think you've almost caught up with the light and look at the light, light, electromagnetic wave, doesn't stay frozen and proceeds just like when we stop. He has come to an amazing conclusion. This meant that, we never catch up with the light. Because light always runs away from us at the same velocity no matter what velocity we run at. Einstein further concluded that the electromagnetic wave of light always moves at the same shape and velocity, 300,000 km per second, by any reference frame, and that the electromagnetic wave that does not proceed is no longer light. This was latent in Maxwell's equation published in 1865, but no one noticed it for more than 30 years. But Einstein's insight was a head-on collision with the common sense. Einstein couldn't help but think about the new question, why light doesn't follow classical physics. It took several years to solve this issue, which soon led to the creation of a special theory of relativity. 
To explain Einstein's realization, I will introduce the fictional race between light and Superman. Einstein had a race between light and Superman in front of the clock tower in Bern. It's a race that goes back and forth to the moon once. The result, of course, was the victory of light. Einstein, who organized the race, patted Superman on the back, who was depressed after the race, and encouraged him, saying, if you had velocity ed up a little more, you could have caught up with the light. Then Superman opens his eyes wide and says to Einstein, what do you mean? I'm no match for light at all. No matter how fast I velocity up, the light ran away that far. Einstein and Superman are talking about one event differently. In Einstein's view, the light ran at 300,000 km per second, and Superman chased the light at 290,000 km per second. Einstein thought that the difference in velocity was 10,000 km per second, so if Superman tried harder, he could catch up. But somehow, Superman's story was different. Superman chased the light at 290,000 km per second, and the light was not leading at 10,000 km per second faster than him, but running at 300,000 km per second just like when he was in a standstill. So even though the velocity was raised to 299,900 km per second, it was almost as fast as light, but the light was also flying 300,000 km per second faster than it was. This property of light must have puzzled Einstein and Superman. Because it was so different from all the velocity competitions in the world that they have seen. But one thing is clear, light still runs at a constant velocity of 300,000 km per second for Einstein, who stays still, or Superman, who runs at 290,000 km per second. Einstein noticed this. The fact that the velocity of light in Maxwell's equation is presented as a constant, 300,000 km per second, without any reference frame means that light has a constant velocity regardless of the observer's state of motion. Einstein's attention to the constant velocity of light is not only through the theoretical fact of the Maxwell equation. He also noted experiments in which the velocity of light is constant regardless of the observer or the condition of the light source. One of them was the observation of double stars by Dutch astronomer Willem de Sitter around that time. Sitter confirmed that the velocity of light was constant regardless of the velocity of motion of the object emitting the light. In outer space, light travels at a constant velocity and this velocity is not dependent on the motion of the light source. Another important experimental fact that Einstein noted was the famous michelson morley experiment. This was to find the medium of light, ether, which resulted in the failure of the experiment, leading to the conclusion that the velocity of light was constant. At the end of the 19th century, the proposition that the velocity of light was constant regardless of the observer or the state of the light source was also a serious problem for genius physicists like Einstein. The reason is that this velocity of light identity seemed to violate the principle of relativity, which was the foundation of Newtonian mechanics. To be continued to Einstein's Odyssey 3. Thanks for watching.